Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another Unity C Sharp Auto Game tutorial video. This is episode 42, and today we're going to be building for Android. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications to so get notified for future videos. If you want to comment all your feedback, questions, suggestions, uh, compliments, all that good stuff, let the, uh, leave them down there below. I'll be sure to check them out. And let's hop into it. So also, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry that I've been very inactive on YouTube lately. Um... Releasing a game in five days is quite stressful, and I've been kind of just not wanting to do YouTube for until then, you know, if that makes sense. Uh, but I, this video needs to be done, so I decided to do it today since I have the time. And yeah, so make sure you guys tune in for the release. It'll be on Steam, Cartridge, Itch.io, iOS, and Android. Okay, so anyways, we have our game all set up. So if you haven't done episode 14.5, which is where we fix AdMob, uh, make sure you do that so your uh, Google ad or Google mobile ads plugins look like this okay so make sure you do that okay so now what we're gonna do here is we go to the build settings which is file build settings and we're gonna select play or Android make sure you have all the stuff installed so if we go to uh, project settings no not project settings we will need that though preferences. If you go to Preferences, External Tools, make sure you have the um, all of this installed, okay? JDK, SDK, NDK, and Gradle, okay? So all that stuff, make sure it's all installed, okay? And so let's go to Player Settings, which opens up this. And I've already set some of this up. I've already got myself an icon and a version, company name, and a product name, okay? So make sure you set these up. Make sure you increment your version every time you update your game. And I'm going to start with the uh, bundle version code 1, okay? So, let's see here. Um, let's check all the settings. So, icon. I don't touch the icon settings because we have a default icon here. So, we can just ignore that. Uh, resolution and presentation. Um, I think this is fine. Since our game is in portrait mode, so we're just going to leave it as portrait, okay? Now, if we do auto rotation, it will automatically do landscape right and left, which is an issue because it will um, do really weird things like this. Or um, that's a bad example. It looks like this, right? So right now, currently, our game is optimized for um, this resolution. So you might want to adjust that. You might want to adjust the anchors and stuff like that. Now, if you have an issue with that, don't ask me in the comments below because I'm not, I can't help every single person. Just make sure you experiment with the anchors here, as I've explained. And I'm going to do a separate video on anchors because I feel like that people still get stuck on those. So I'd rather suggest those kind of videos. Um, splash screen, I don't adjust, but here we can just preview real quick. Let me reduce the size of this. So, yeah, it looks something like that. Okay, so other settings. Now we have our package name here. Please choose a different package name or else you will not be able to publish your game. So mine is the company name and the game the company name and the game name. And so it's this format right here. Com dot this must be here, okay? It must be this exact format. So yeah, make sure whenever you update your game you increase this bundle version code. And if you forget um if you've incremented it or not, you can always go check in Google Play. But the safe bet is to just increase it anyways, okay? Uh, <laughs> should be less than 100,000. Oops, crypto clickers. I accidentally set it to a really high number. Uh, so make sure you don't do that. Make sure you start at one, okay? Uh, scripting backend, IL2CPP, um, .NET 4.x, release, and these should be all the settings here. Um, now internet access, you will probably, you will need internet access in order to get daily events because it's, um, using a web, an a, a UTC API in order to grab the time so people can't cheat. So make sure you have the internet access, uh, as auto. Now, if you do require, you can't launch the game if you don't have Wi-Fi. So just a heads up. So make sure you set it to auto. Uh, write permission internal. Uh, I just leave all these settings as is, and you can honestly turn this uh, these errors off the stack trace. But it'll be nice for the first few updates or something like that to have a script only, so then Google can report crashes or errors to you. So that'll be nice. 
Like I've had Google Play, like Google AdMob errors in the past, and yeah, that's nice. So I can figure out why my game isn't loading properly. Okay, so now we're in our publishing settings. So this is probably the most crucial step. So you're not going to see this path here, right? I've already created a key, um, a key store, but I want to create one with you guys. So we're going to go to Key Store Manager, which we should open up this, and we're going to create a new. Uh, we're going to create a new key store in a certain location, which I'm going to, I have a folder created in my project here. It's called key stores. Okay. So I'm just going to call this user new, I guess just, you can call it user. Okay. So now I'm going to type in a password here. Actually, let's do that last. Okay. So now you just, uh, type in an alias, which you'll find here. Okay, so I'm just going to type this in as um, release key or something like that. Something that you can remember. You type in a password for all four of these, okay? I usually choose the matching passwords, but it's whatever you want. Just make sure you remember them or else if you forget, you will not be able to publish this game on the store anymore, okay? these This is very important, okay? So make sure you have a very safe password, but also one that you can remember. Because if you forget it and you you can't build, you basically just cannot build this project anymore. And if you create a new key, you cannot upload it to your, you cannot update your game on Google Play. Um, I, I never changed this. You can set your, whatever information you have. Okay. So you, US. Okay. I'm just, I'm not going to, I'm just going to fill out this information real quick. And what you, when you're done, press add key in here. Okay. Okay. So once you create that, um, Key, uh, key release key created and new user new key store. Yes, so we want to set them as our project key store. So automatically do that for us. And it types in the password for us, which is nice. So normally you would just have to, you might have to uh, select your key store if it doesn't work. So you just click select and go to the, where you uh, created it and select your, select it. Okay. And you select release key as the alias and type in your password. Okay. And that should be it. Okay, so now we go to our build settings again and click build. So I have a build folder with all my builds. I'm going to have to clean this after I release my game, but I'm just going to create one called V1.0 Android. And I typed that earlier because I did, uh, I did a trial and error, so this should work. Oh, failed to update the SDK package list. Okay, so I guess that's what was going on here. Getting API levels. I don't know what's going. Usually, in this case, you'd have to restart your uh, Unity. So let's let's check out the error. Yeah, you see, I get these dumb errors. Location of your Java installation. Okay, so if you get something like this, again, most errors I will not be able to help you out with. That's a that's a Google thing you're gonna have to do. Is click this since we're in a new version. Oh, we're not even in a new version of Unity. Okay, so click this, click browse, and just click select folder, I guess. Cancel and just reselect this. Just you have to just mess around with these settings. Okay, and in some cases, you're gonna have to go to assets, Google, um, no, where is it? Yeah, external dependency manager, and go to Android resolver and resolve. Okay. Resolution succeed. You might have to do force resolution or force resolve too. So I'm going to do that real quick, which should take some time. Oh, so it took some, ah, I failed. Okay. So in this case, I guess we just have to, um, I think I might have to update my Unity version because I have two different versions. So I might, I'm going to have to do that real quick. Oh, we're starting a computer. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the version of my Unity. Be right back. Also, honestly, if you aren't using Unity to, uh, 2020 or at least the latest version of 2019, if you're using 2018, get out of that. Like, just get out of that right now because it will cause you a lot of issues and you have to do lots of setup that you don't have to do. I remember having to do it and it was not fun. It was a bunch of bugs, having to re-download the correct SDK, uh, Android SDK tools and stuff like that. It was just not a fun process. And now they automate it for you, which is nice. So you have to deal with that anymore, which is good. So make sure, I'm using 2020.1, I think. Whatever the latest release is. Let me open up this thing. Um, yeah, 2020.1.0F1. Excuse me. <laughs> 
Um, so yeah, see, so they see these are long term supports. So I'd either recommend. So don't use the two thousand eighteen, right? Even though it's got long term support, I would either suggest this one, the two thousand nineteen point five point five, or twenty twenty point one. Okay, one of those will be perfect. So I'm using 2020, and previously I was using 2019.3.0. I used it for the longest time. I should actually start upgrading all my versions, honestly. Uh, but yeah, make sure you are up to date with your versions, because there could be a lot of helpful bug fixes. And if there are failures, then you can always just downgrade. Okay, so it looks like it loaded now. So for your API levels, make sure you choose, uh, I, I don't know, I just use the lowest API level possible because there are people who still uses, use these really low levels. But most people uh, use uh, anything from Marshmallow to Pi. Maybe Lollipop, but I don't know who would. Um, and then for Target, I just do automatic, okay? Because you'd have to, I think I have Oreo installed. I don't think I have, and I don't think I have Pi, but... Yeah, just do the automatic highest installed, which Unity does that automatically. And if you want to use an even higher level, then I think you have to install something and it will give you like a pop-up, but I don't want to go through that process since I don't know what would happen exactly. But okay, so let's try building again and it should work. Oh, we got to do the passwords again. Yeah, every time you load, you got to type in the passwords. So I guess I can just demonstrate this process. And what you do here is build. Ah, oh, failed to update Android SDK package list. See console for details. Okay, so we're going to have to do some research here. I'll do that. Okay, so it looks like we have some issue here. So we have a Java home right here. So I'm looking at this forum post right here. I know this has been a major issue for me in the past. I did. I have to add this manually and it still cause bugs. But you see how this is still version 2019. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to completely, like, I'm going to copy and paste this. Maybe even replace the URL here. Um, but it's saying that we should delete this. Now, I don't want to delete it because I feel like this will cause some future issues here. So let's try it one more time. Build. Okay. So let's delete this environment table or variable. So you can just search up environment and variables. Uh, click on that. Go to system variables and just delete uh, Java home. Okay. This might require a restart. Okay. So what I'm doing right now, it looks like it's resolving properly, which is good. So what I did is I went back to the preferences, external tools, and I turned off every single one of like the uh, JDK, SDK, NDK. So here, I'll show you. I basically unchecked all four of these right here, not the stop Gradle right here. And then I just turned the Mac on right after. So I went just down here and then back up. Okay. And then it started resolving. So, and also set my target API level to pi. So maybe that was also part of the issue. Okay, cool. So it looks like it's starting to actually build now. So fingers, oh, never mind. We have errors. Ah, I thought we were good. Oh, we have come, uh, we have, what? No, we don't. It says we have errors in the editor, even though we don't. Okay, so it says we have compile errors. Oh, it's this right here. Great, I don't know what this is. I've never had that error before. So again, just research. Oh, right here. Okay, so now, so it says to just uncheck this, which is above the input manager right here. So just turn that off. It's below allow unsafe code, and we should be able to build now. Oh, we have compile errors. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to go refresh this. I don't know. I don't want to do that. Okay, so now let's try building one last time, and this should be the last time we will have issues. Oh, and now I'm just going to kick back. I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, perfect. It completed. Wow, I'm actually surprised I was able to get through today. <laughs> I was thinking I was going to have tons of issues, and actually, not going to lie, I've had tons of issues in the past. Come on, come on, CPU, speed up. Okay, so I have built V1.0 Android, and I have loaded up BlueStacks. So this is a good way to test Android. Now, it's kind of slow, but if you have an Android device, you can just simply email this to yourself and download it on your Android device. But I don't, so uh, let's just drag that APK into BlueStacks. So if you build an, uh, where is it? Uh, a build app bundle, which is like an AAB or ABB, I think. 
A, A, B, yeah. You can't drag those in here, right? Okay, cool. So we have our idle game tutorial with my earth icon that I have implemented. I think it looks really nice. I actually like that. <laughs> but anyways, let's open that up and it should boot right into the game. Yes, it loaded first try. Awesome. And I think it'll automatically boot. Nope, it's not the right resolution. But as you can see, we can play our game. And we can check for daily rewards. It looks like we haven't gotten it yet. Okay. So yeah. Um, there are bugs, obviously, in the game. Like, Bimax isn't working properly. But I will fix those in the future. I'll probably do another bug fixing video. Just stuff like that. Once I gather more bug fixes. And also, I'll be providing... If you have a bug with a certain video, check the comments and I'll, because I'll be leaving stuff there too. And if people just so, still keep missing the videos, and I'll just keep, um, I'll keep uh, providing more information. Okay. So let's see. Can we watch an ad yet? No, we can't. Okay. So um, now I'm gonna hop into. Okay. So this is where you go. You, if you haven't registered for a Google Play console, if you want to release your game, make sure you do that. And you can just go to. Uh, dashboard or all apps right here and you can create a new app somewhere in here uh, this is all, not all apps but yeah so you just create a new app in here get all the uh, yeah right here create app you get all the store information the description and all that and then you I would highly suggest you to do closed testing or internal internal testing is instant right but you need to email um, invite yourself and you can have up to 100 people to test your game which is really nice but yeah there's lots of videos on there i'm not going to really touch on google play console because that's not my job and yeah so anyways here's our first android build i hope you guys learned something new and i hope you guys got it working if you did and if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on those notifications to get notified for future videos and live streams and also just know my game's coming out very soon five days hopefully if it's not delayed crypto clickers right here you can pre-order it on ios and set it or add it to your wishlist on steam so you make sure you do that and it will be out on google play soon anyways see you guys in it thank you for watching peace